We start with Armac football. I'm Eric Danner. The Shadron State Eagles were picked third in the Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference this year in the preseason coaches poll. The Eagles opening the season against the University of Mary. At Don Beebe Stadium, Shadron with the new look helmets again, looking rather crimson tightish. Tie game in the second quarter when Garrett Treffer connects with Jeremy Sondrup for the 26 yard touchdown. Eagles lead 10 3. Marauders then driving. Craig Bagnell forced out of the pocket, throws for the end zone. It's picked off by Phil Rivera. Shadron still leads 10 3 at the half. Third quarter, the Eagles always have great special teams. Kramer Hurts makes Mary hurt. Blocked punt goes out of the end zone. That's a safety. Shadron leads 15 3 later on. Corey Barron, number 90. You might want to block him. He creams the quarterback, causes the fumble, recovered by James Belleville at the two. That sets up John Ritson for the two-yard touchdown. Shadron pulling away 25-3. They win 35-3. Freshman kicker Michael Ziola boots in four field goals while being named Armac Special Teams Player of the Week. Treffer suffered a hip pointer, did not play in the second half. Redshirt freshman John McLean, brother of Joe, came in and was 7 of 10 for 89 yards and a touchdown. Perhaps the most anticipated matchup of the weekend was Colorado Mines taking on the number 10 ranked team in the country, the Washburn Ichabods, at the newly named Campbell Field on a perfect late summer afternoon. The Colorado Mines marching band marching down Illinois Street on their way to the stadium. The ore diggers ring the victory bell. It is time to start the season. First play every day. Let's get a Mines on three. One, two, three. Mines. First quarter, Washburn with the ball. Dane Simino gets picked off by Ryan Wood, and he is heading for the end zone, but the ball gets knocked away. Ichabod's recover. Tough break for the freshman from San Antonio. Second quarter, Mines forces another turnover. Dylan Davison with the hit. Blaine Sumner recovers this time. The ore diggers cash it in. Clay Garcia to Robin Vanola. Mines leads seven zip. After Washburn answers with a touchdown, it's Garcia. The quick pass to Cody Rankin, another kid from San Antonio. He goes 75 yards. Get down in front. CSM would miss the extra point and leads. 13 to 7 on the ensuing kickoff. Ron L. Garner waffles. He's in, he's out, he's in. That's a safety score now. 15 7 at the half. During halftime, that is Harry Campbell, the quarterback for the Colorado School of Mines from way back in 1939. It is now called Campbell Field, the field dedicated in his name back to action. Washburn comes out fired up for Sean Moore running the Wildcat. He runs about everything. He rushes for 218 yards on the day. Ichabod's now lead 25 to 15, but back come the ore diggers. Garcia rifles one to Jared Doucette. It's a three point ball game. Lead goes back and forth. Mine's now down 34 29, under two and a half minutes to go. Garcia buying time off his back foot to Tom Castens in the end zone. So close, next play. Garcia back to pass, gets drilled by Jamil Taylor. Ichabod's recover. Washburn wins a thriller 34-29. Garcia finishes with 314 yards and four touchdowns in his first start for Colorado Mines. Adam State was hoping to kick off their new season under the new lights at Rec Stadium, but some construction delays made their opener a daytime affair against Dixie State. Speaking of daylight, James Ackle finds some after he picks off the pass. He goes to the crib, as the kids say. Grizzlies pulling away, leading 27-7 at the half. Final score, 34-14. ASC had 576 yards of offense as receivers Shane McBurney and Scott Kellogg went over 100 yards apiece. Nebraska Kearney is the team picked to win the Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference. The Lopers opening against in-state rival Wayne State. As KHGI's Dave Greek reports, the Lopers had some issues with their familiar foe. Nebraska Kearney had a lot of questions going into 2010. The offensive line and their inexperience, plus the secondary had to be entirely replaced from 2009. But the biggest question was could they beat Wayne State for the first time in three season openers? The Pride of the Plains marching band showed up in full tunage support for the blue and gold, but Kyle Schultz and company had some other ideas. Schultz hooks up with Mitch Montgomery for a 59-yard touchdown. Wayne State jumps out to a 14-7 lead in the first quarter. After a field goal makes it 17-7 in favor of Wayne State, the ensuing kickoff 
introduces Matt Berry to Richard Daniel. Daniel takes Berry out of the game with that hit. We're moving to the fourth quarter. Spitzelberger with all kinds of time in the pocket. Floats one to Kyle Kaiser. Kaiser's off to the races. 67 yards. It's now 17-14 in favor of Wayne State. UNK would add a field goal late in the fourth quarter, so it's 17-17. We're going to overtime. Third and goal from the one, Eric Meyer punches it in. Wayne State's up 24-17. And it's now fourth and seven. Loper's trying to do something, anything to continue this drive. Spitzelberger rolls out to his left, finds somebody, but that somebody is Ben Perry. He knocks it down for Wayne State. UNK talks about a tough loss after the game. I throw a pick on that one, slipped out of my hand. Kaiser had him deep for a touchdown. I need to make that play. I can't give the ball up. Same thing happened to us last year, and we won 11 games in a row. So I guess we go win 11 games in a row. <laughs>